Yeah. Thoughts on Jujutsu Kaisen? Incredible. Okay, this music doesn't really suit talking about Jujutsu Kaisen right now, so I'll pause it for a sec. But Jujutsu Kaisen is one of those animes that it, a lot of, it gets a lot of hype, and then everyone else is like, No, oh, it's fucking stupid, because it's bad. <laughs> And that happens with every anime. Have, like Peter said, is, having an opinion about anime on the internet is like a death sentence. Um, but I will say that Jujutsu Kaisen is super, super good because it's shown an anime super condensed. It's like Naruto. It It's basically just Naruto. So much of it is very similar. Like all of their, their spells that they do is like, oh, that's my fucking jutsu. Kind of thing. Oh my god, Tyler, thank you so much for 25 gifted subs. That's incredible, thank you. Um, it's like, it's Naruto, but without any of the filler stuff in it, so you just get all of the fighting. Because the story in Jujutsu Kaisen is nothing special. It's like, yeah, I get it, and like, it doesn't throw too much weird shit at you, and it's like, okay, that's the premise, and that's kind of just it. The story's a little flat in places, but the characters are fun enough that it carries it through it. But the premise itself is just very basic stuff. But I've never seen an anime that has all of its fight scenes as well animated as each other. Because even in Naruto or One Punch Man, because One Punch Man has some terrific animation, or My Hero Academia, those shows have really great fight scenes, but it's like, you can tell which ones are like, the big fight scenes have the hyper budget in them. But then Jujutsu Kaisen is like, all of the fights are that well done. Because all of, it I, I, doesn't matter who's fighting who. It's like somebody fighting like a tiny little demon that's over in five minutes, but it's still really, really well animated. Um, and that's what I think its strength is. And it's just all of that all the time. Because it's like, we know why you're here. You just want to see cool fights and characters do badass shit and hype moments. And then it just gives it to you. Because Demon Slayer has the problem where it's like, yeah, it has those hype moments. But it's like one every like five to ten episodes. And then it's like everything in between is like, Nezuko chan I'm like... <laughs> I'm not 12 anymore, I can't. I'm sorry. But then the hype moments happen, it's like, okay, I'll keep watching. Fuck. He was kind of annoying, but man, when he goes into that comatose state and then he goes fucking the speed of light, it's like, holy shit, that was actually dope. But then everything else in between, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll bear with this for a little while and my brain kind of tunes out. But Jujutsu Kaisen was kind of like, look, we know our story isn't like the top tier level shit, so we'll just give you fight scenes over and over again. And I was like, thank you, because my brain stink, and all I want to do is see cool shit. You know? Because <laughs> Naruto has the same problem again, but Naruto gets away with it because it's an older show, and it kind of is like the pioneer of that stuff. Um, and My Hero Academia is like, I love that show, but it's so hard to re-watch it because there's so much in between where I'm like, man, a lot of this just doesn't matter now that I know what the grand scheme of things is. And I'm just not into the characters as much as I probably would have been if I was younger. So I'm not the target demographic for these shows, so take that for what you will. But those are my thoughts. What's your thoughts on Gojo? I mean, he's basically just Kakashi, but in like a younger, hip kind of form. He even looks like him. <laughs> but I think he's awesome. I love him. 